so today we'll be discussing tnm staging of renal cell carcinoma so tx when the tumor cannot be assessed t0 when there is no evidence of primary tumor then t1 that is divided into t1a and t1b t1a is when it is less than 4 cm t1b when it is 4 to 7 cm t2 that is t T2A and T2B when it is T2A is when it is 7 to 10 centimeter and T2B when it is more than 10 centimeter T1 and T2 both these are when it the tumor is confined to the kidney then we see T3 T3 is when there is venous involvement or perinephric fat involvement and the tumor does not cross the gerotos fascia then T3A when there is involvement of renal vein or the segmental branch or the pelvic elytial system or the perinephric fat T3B when there is infradiaphragmatic IVC involvement then T3C when there is supradiaphragmatic IVC involvement T4 when there is invasion of gerotas fascia it can also involve adrenal gland then we see nodal involvement that is N0 when there is no regional nodes involvement, N1 when there is regional nodes involved. Then metastasis that is M0 when no distant metastasis present, M1 when there is distant metastasis is present. Then we see the stage group. So stage 1 when the tumor is T1 that is less than 7 cm. Then the stage 2 that is T2 that is less than 10 centimeter that is 7 to 10 centimeter stage 3 when there is regional lymph node involvement or the tumor is involving the vein or the perinephric fat stage 4 when there is gerotas fascia involvement or there is distant metastasis thank you